This morning, hundreds of tourists, including Americans, remain trapped in Peru near the famed Machu Picchu because of political unrest in that country. NBC's Molly Hunter is following the overnight developments. Molly, what's the latest? Willie, good morning. That's right. So over the last 10 days, violent protests have spread across Peru in real pockets uh, with supporters of former President Pedro Castillo. Now, he was impeached, arrested and detained. Those protests have turned violent. At least 20 people have been killed. What's also happened, though, Willie, is that it's basically paralyzed transportation. So halting trains, blocking roads. And because of that, Americans and hundreds of tourists have been trapped in Machu Picchu. We were able to reach some of them. Take a listen. Well, as far as they know, they're trying to airlift us over to Cusco Airport, um, but we have not heard one helicopter yet. Um. And the reason the helicopters didn't show up today is because of the weather. I mean, okay. the, the weather was bad. My next concern is the lack of supplies. Okay. But lack of food, lack of water. Now, Willie, the people that we spoke with, they're not super nervous because the protests aren't actually right there where they are. Now, the U.S. Embassy says Peruvian authorities assure them they are trying urgently to evacuate tourists, including the Americans. And Peruvian authorities also say in a tweet that they are starting humanitarian flights today. We'll keep you posted, Willie. Good to hear they may get out of there soon. Molly Hunter, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.